previously on Top Quad. Justin Sturgill and I have both spent $3,000 on competitive ATVs. I don't know what he has, he doesn't know what I have. This is a 2006 TRX. It's actually an ER converted to Kickstarter. This is a Kawasaki KFX 450R. Dude, that's that style look these things over to make sure we don't kill ourselves today. Does someone need a mechanic? Still gotta take this thing for a rip and see how she runs. Suspension wise, it does kind of beat you up. So let me know what you think about it. That needs more. We get some fun sauce here. The rest of it's long. It runs, it runs pretty good. But you can definitely feel all the bushings that are whomped out. We passed the mechanics challenge. This is a brand new 2020 YFC 450R. Do you think you can compare to this lovely piece of equipment? You guys ready for your first challenge? A cornering and drifting and a hill climb test. Go! Still having some motor. I already know that I won, dude, because I was getting it. What That's are the right. official times? It was 10:19. Oh! That's a sweet hill climb. Oh, 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 oh. Grab it! Grab it! Now it should go down, probably no problem. Oh my God! Yeah, and he jumped off it, and the quad turned and almost rolled. We need the official times. And on this episode, Pete, his time was 16.22. And Mike, I had to take pictures of this because I didn't believe it myself. Oh my three. God. Whose machine is the quickest off the line? Your machine stalled out and overheated. That is an issue of the stopping challenge. You get as fast as you can and stop in between those two cones. <laughs> Take your quad to the track, the best time wins. Luckily we're doing this last, so if I die, it's all good. You got the big penalties coming. Okay. You won the popular vote. I won the popular vote, which was rigged. We need the official times. All right, well, Pete, his time was 16.22. That was my second run, obviously. Right, but it was good. Yeah. It was good, that was solid. Justin, you went first. Your best time was 17.93. That's pretty damn good. That is pretty good. 17.93, yes. 17.93. All right. All right, and then Mike, I, I, I had to take pictures of this because I didn't believe it myself. 17.50. Wait, what was yours? 1793. Oh my God. 1750. That's how close these guys were. So I lost another one? All right. Dude, I got to hand it to you, though. And I would not have done this challenge if you didn't force me to do it. All right, if so you were on the way. KFX, you'd probably be faster because my quad's better. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want to go, we can no, do it on the Let's, best let's not three. do the hill anymore. Uh, I can go do another one. I'm happy with my 175. All right, so I'm down <laughs> three to one challenges. I gotta redeem myself. Uh, we got. Or what, what, what is the next competition? Looks like the next competition here. All right, Mike, you read this one. I think you're winning. It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Should have got a cowie. Dude, that was Ooh. close, man. That, Dude, was that, was close. Close. that was really good. All right, all right, all right. Putting your quad to the test. Who's the better racer? We've already found that out. Who's the fastest? We've also found that out. Who can apply the brakes faster than fart spreads in a factory? <laughs> Fan factory. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie, my back brakes are not the best. Alrighty, well, uh, we're, I guess we're gonna have to go do a drag racing and stopping challenge. All right, let's get to it, man. Alrighty. So that about wraps it up for the slums and hill climbs. Another one in the books for your boy Sabo. And now we're on to the drag racing competition where hopefully these brand new obors will help me with the launch, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough to overtake the power of Justin's machine. Lucky for me, Justin's squad is constantly overheating, so maybe I won't even have to race him. Let's find out. All right, guys, we are here at the drag race. We've got a nice strip set up, and we are going to find out just whose machine is the quickest off the line. The best two out of three wins. All right. All right, I'm finally going to win a challenge, I feel. We'll see about that, driver. I don't know about a driver, you know. 
it's your machine right here. It's not a good machine. It's not You're a right, good it's machine. A good driver. It's not a good machine. That's okay. just saying that my ability is that much higher. It could be. Okay, I'm 40 and fat. What do you want me to tell you? Let's line them up. All right. So the drag race will be taking place in a grass field on about an 80 yard stretch. We'll be doing three heats and we'll be going head to head between Justin and my quad and also Pete's YFZ 450R. Let's see how they do. this thing at all I want to say Sabo missed a gear but it looks like Sturgill takes the first the first pass <laughs> like everybody got a pretty good shift and uh, good run of the gears there but that Honda is fast now, like they were saying it's probably got the HRC kit in it quarter polished and it is running quick All right, come on Mike this is super fun I couldn't hear my quad at all in that last run I think I stayed in second something weird happened I can't hear this thing so I will say massive disadvantage not being able to hear your motor <laughs> down for the count. Has a different person won every time? I think so. I'm not 100% going on. I, I can't hear this at all. Yeah. So I, like, I am horrible. Yeah. I can't hear, I can barely feel the RPMs. Right. I think I held it in second way too long one of those runs and I was like, what's going on here? It sounds like Justin's breaking up. Yeah, his was power cutting really bad then. Yeah. But then again, it gets hot fast. Yeah. What happened? Uh, what happened is... The too hot? Yeah. Oh, you're smoking, yeah. Yeah, it broke up. You would, you would do that on the last run where I killed it on the launch. <laughs> Where's Pete? It's probably a good idea that you didn't go. No, it died. I was going to run it. That last run was by far my best launch. I already whipped you two out of three. Yeah, yeah, you did. No, you, you de that quad is faster because I didn't have any... The, fir the first one, I wheelied out. Yeah. That one, I had a terrible launch. But the second launch, I wasn't bad. And I, I couldn't... You were pulling the whole time. That quad's faster. All right, drag races in the books. I gotta say, Justin's quad was fast as hell. I can only imagine if it was actually running right just how fast it would be. After the three races, we all agreed that Justin's quad was the fastest, followed by Pete's, and then third being the KFX. I think really the only reason that I won the third heat was because I got a good launch and you could see Pete wheel it up a little bit. So Justin gets the win for that one. Let's move on to the braking competition where Pete and I will go first while Justin's quad cools down. Well, after the drag racing challenge, old Justin didn't have to race the third one because I whooped you boys two out of three. Yeah, but your machine stalled out and overheated for the third round. That is an issue, but uh, you know, I still won that challenge. You did still win the it challenge. It was best two out of three. It was the best two out of three, so I didn't even have to show up. Mm -hmm. You know? Do you have any excuses about how you wheelied off the front? Uh, I think that uh, if you would have just been in that last race there, you would have seen if this Kawasaki is actually faster than both of these machines. Uh, negative. Where I were you at all? I, 
All I can say is the word gap, because I was gapping it. Right, right. Now we have the stopping challenge, and the idea is to get as fast as you can and stop in between those two cones out there. Do you think you can do that? Absolutely. Alrighty, I'm gonna have to go last, so I'm gonna let you two guys go first. Oh okay. yeah, because you have to let that machine cool down. Yes, I gotta let it cool down, yes. I'll go first, I'll be the guinea pig. So for this challenge, we each went about five times until we felt we had put down the quickest time and gotten the closest to the cones as we possibly could. The clock started as soon as the rider left the gate. Dude, if you put a damper on that thing, it's gonna be night and day. Because it is the, the, uh, that is the scariest four-wheeler I've ever ridden without a damper so far. Like that is, the steering is so loose. It is, it seriously, that is weird. Whoa! Ugh. Oh, too soon! That's kind of fun. You, are you overheating again? Yeah. You looked like you were money that one time. I feel like I might have won that challenge. Closest was Pete, Sabo, Sturgill. Oh, I felt like time, close. Time's real close. We'll go back to, okay, Pete was uh, 669, 657. That was your best. 657. 657. Awesome. And then 647 was Mike. So I had the fastest time. The fastest start to stop time. By point zero three, was it three? 47 and 57, 110. It's honestly unbelievable how close they were. Yeah, oh, and that's such a short stretch. But I mean, still, I think that's gonna be close. still pretty impressive. Yes, yeah. for the and whole slide also, out and everything. Yeah, I mean, also, uh, I did kick your ass in the drag race. You beat me in the drag race. All right, give me the others. And I'll say, I'll, I had an advantage for the launch and for stopping with these tires. Yes, you have so a lot I better tires. The advantage, even with my whooped ass brakes. And honestly, they're not that bad, but but the Honda reliability is. But wait, oh, yeah, there's, there's more. There's more. It needs a rebuild, and it's still competing. But wait, it's wait, still wait, wait, wait. What tires are those? Obor Advent. Obors. Those Obors seem to be pretty nice. Alrighty. Best track time. You and your quads have been through the ringer today. Really mine more than yours. Well, no, yours always rolled down a hill. There's one last challenge. <laughs> oh. Who's the best driver? Take your quad to the track, the best time wins. We'll go ugly before beauty. I mean, Plus, I'm, get, I'm getting tired of winning, so I'm gonna just kind of cruise it. You're tired of winning? Uh, Jesus, Jesus God. God. Well, all I'm no, saying is I've won three challenges and uh, I put less effort into this than really anything. I have about uh, four hours worth of work. Three on challenges, which, which three of those? Uh, okay. You won the popular vote. I won the popular vote, which was rigged. No, it's not rigged. It's because they love Hondas. Okay. That's true. And, and Kawasaki's are ugh. incredibly fast, apparently. <laughs> it's not reliable. I won the drag race. And what else did I win? No, I'm, I'm two to. Two to four, I think. 
Oh, this is not looking good. Okay, so you pretty you much You gotta won. turn this around. Yeah, I know, I gotta, I gotta do this fastest time, but whatever. Luckily, we're doing this last, so if I die, it's all good. Well, it's not so much the die, it's when the quad dies. <laughs> yes, you know yes, that's gonna happen. it's gonna die. So another one is in the books. This puts me up to a three to two lead. I'm still amazed that we managed to get in one tenth of a second from each other. Now these might not be the most grueling of competitions to show the performance of these ATVs, but I can tell you one thing, we're having one hell of a good time doing these competitions. So we're moving on to the fifth and final challenge, the small course. Better place your bets now. I'm gonna bet that Justin's quad blows up. The small course starts out with a short section of whoops followed by a series of cones that the rider must navigate through. There are long straightaways, a hairpin turn, small jumps, an embanked turn, and then small jumps again that lead to the finish line. Another small course, but the longest of all of the challenges, and we should see the biggest variation of time here. Once again, Pete's up to set the bar. <laughs> With the airborne stop. That up big time, dude. You got the big penalties coming. F that, dude. I'm not happy about that. He's got some big penalties coming, driver. He missed two sections. Uh oh. Ah, f dude. I saw those cones. I was like, ah, f Oh man, definitely some penalties on the way. Let's have a closer look side by side to see who took the cake.
Oh man, Pete shredding both Justin and I, but there are penalties for missing sections and hitting cones. So let's see how it panned out. All right, so Pete, you went first. Your time for the course with no penalties, I believe. No, he did have penalties, penalties according uh, to the judge. Two, well, he, so he missed one hole. He so, got one cone, so one tenth, and then half a second. So let's do 0. 0.6 off of his time. Yes. 0. 0.6. So his his time clocked was 41.66. 41.06. Good. That's a good time, Pete. The old Justin here. Yes. Uh, his time was 44.75. 4475 so I was 3 seconds off Pete. Yeah. But I didn't have any penalties. Correct. No penalties. Correct. No penalties. Mike, you gave it a very good effort. But your <laughs> your time was 4603. Damn. All righty. And I had penalties. So 4553. One second to that. So oh. 4703. 4703. Ouch. Hey, I had to go easy, man. I can't, the winner. I can't let him lose every challenge. <laughs> Listen, you know, I, I, I won think it's the shots. I think it's the suspension. Yeah, the rapid run suspension is. Dude, the whoops, I almost freaking bailed. <laughs> yeah, the whoops, I thought you were going to wreck. <laughs> I thought you were going to wreck. I thought you were going to wreck. You definitely need Well, everybody suspension. else just flew over him, so I was like, all right. <laughs> oh, so Justin edging out the win, making this a tied competition. In order to make a tiebreaker, we decided to include the mechanical inspection. And across the board, we decided that I won that competition as Justin had a fair share of problems throughout the day. So I guess that makes me the winner. Now, come on now, guys. Are you really that surprised? Nah, I'm just kidding. We both had a great day. And honestly, both of these quads were very competitive against the YFC 450. But it's not all about this competition. We did have a great time just comparing these machines. Here's what we thought about the results. They're super capable. This thing being as you know, nine nine thousand dollars on average, roughly. I mean, it's a it's a big expense, but you're paying for being the original owner. You know the history of the machine, and it's reliable from the get go, and it's it doesn't have anything wrong with it. But you know, buying a used machine like this, you definitely can like save yourself tons of money, but you may open up a can of worms too. So it was really cool to kind of see them next to each other. But you guys tackled the problems that they had. You diagnosed them. You made them run good. And we're talking a matter of seconds here but a difference of $6,000. Yes. So that's like, that's a lot of money to spend when, I mean, you can really buy yourself an awesome machine and build it up and it'll be just as capable as one of these. Yes, it or better. It doesn't take as much. So, I mean, that's, it, it was cool to kind of test that and see that for sure. For me, what I'm kind of looking at is when you're buying a full wheeler, you're looking for performance and reliability. But coming to you, like you don't have wider A arms, you don't have the high performance shocks, so you don't have like the performance aspect as far as like suspension. But you bought reliability, right? So your quad ran on flawless all day. I mean, you had some trouble before, but you were building still, right? So, but then where Sturgill, he's got the tricked out shocks, he's got wider A arms, he's got axles, he's got all the the HRC kit, the high compression piston, the performance where he started overheating today, he started killing it and just had some reliability issues. Where then you look at the YFC, so the YFC, you bought it brand new, it's already got wider A-arms, it's got really nice suspension on it, and it's a brand new quad, so it's gonna be reliable. Now something to take into consideration too, guys, is that we bought totally different machines in totally different conditions. And it may or may not have been the best example for comparing machines. So Justin basically bought this machine the way that it is. He did do minor little things, but he left it pretty much the way that it was. My machine was in bins. It was literally a basket case. It was a roller and had been left sitting outside for, I really don't know how long, but that's something that not everybody can tackle. So there are different ways that you can buy, buy used quads. If you're a mechanically inclined person or you're looking for a project, you can get something like this and build it up on your own, or you could also just get a machine and pretty much just run it straight out of the box. But as you can see, we did encounter some problems today. So that is something to take into consideration. From what I took out of this is, is that my question always was, can you go out for $3,000 and have a great time with your buddies? That was been my thing, where you don't have to feel like you've invested so much money because you really don't know if you like it, okay? Could you break even on this? And for my part of the challenge, I didn't want to get too crazy and go all the way to the budget. I wanted to buy it off Facebook Marketplace, fix the things that I thought reliability was going to be an issue, like the axles and just having the suspension set up for me. And that made me feel more comfortable riding it. But I feel like I could sell this tomorrow 
for more money than what I invested in it. And that is a great out for beginners of this no, challenge. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to bring one more, not my typical style where it's not gone through with a fine tooth comb and a million dollars spent on it. But could you go out and have a great time for $3,000 and I'm telling you, I had, this has been one of the funnest weekends I've ever had in a long period of time. And I hope that you viewers like this type of stuff and want us to do it again. That's it. Excellent. Yeah, I agree. It was 100% super fun. fun. This was a very bizarre way to go ride for the weekend, but it was memorable and awesome. So I'm stoked to do more of these. It was really cool to take advantage of having this new machine too. Yeah, absolutely. And I think even though it, the challenge itself, I clearly won. I guess we haven't declared a winner, Woo! have we? I mean, no, was... no, no, he would be a winner. Yeah. But, oh, but you, you technically won, nice job. The yeah. biggest takeaway from this is that we just had so much fun doing this. Right now it's starting to rain and I don't even care. <laughs> you know, we had a couple mishaps where we almost crashed. You know, we, we had the uh, almost rolled on the hill and just all kinds of stuff happened today, but we just had so much fun today. And that was really the whole point of this project. Before we go, we do want to give a huge shout out to the people that helped make this happen. Not just Pete and Brewers Off-Road, but we also had a number of sponsors that helped us make these machines. We had DBC Racing really hooked up Justin. Yes. All the little things. I don't even know what he had done to it, but DBC Racing hooked, hooked that up big time. They helped out with my exhaust, a number of small parts and things like that. BP Racing ATV helped me out a lot with parts, and those guys are great for pretty much any kind of quad you have. Then we also had Rocket Ron. We hooked up the suspension on Justin's quad, which I'm extremely envious of. <laughs> DRW hooked it up protection-wise, even on Pete's quad with the skid plates and stuff. And that is super important, especially out in the woods and everything. You really, you just can't look past that stuff. Also, thank you. You got to thank AGMX Graphics for yes. our graphics thing. Mike did a beautiful job designing these guys. Now, the main reason that I would say I won this challenge is probably because of the Obor tires. And that really is the truth. Almost in every scenario today, if I didn't have these tires, I might not have either won or I might not have made it. Like that hill climb, <laughs> crazy. I had higher comp uh, pressure in my tires yesterday and I was doing hill climbs and stuff that probably wouldn't have made it if the tires weren't great. So I want to give a huge thank you to Obor Tires for that. And of course, all of you guys. We really want to thank you guys for watching these videos. You guys watching these videos and giving us that thumbs up is what keeps us doing this content so we can continue to make more challenges and give you guys all the fun content that we can possibly make for you guys. So we want to give you guys a huge thank you. All right, guys, that wraps up the first ever Top Quad series. 2020 wasn't all that bad. Come on, man. We got Top Quad. I'm going to go ahead and put up our sponsor information right here because those guys helped us out tremendously. If you guys are interested in seeing how Justin and I purchased and worked on our Top Quads, we both have videos doing the work on these machines. Justin's is already up and I am currently working on a mini build series as well. All these scenes were filmed at Brewer Off-Road. We want to give a huge thank you to the brewers for being so hospitable, taking care of us and letting us rip up their lawn. We also want to give a special thank you to ATV On Demand and Dirt Tracks TV for providing video footage for the history sections in the Top Quad videos. All right, guys, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. Comment down below on what Top Quad challenges you'd like to see us do in the future. And of course, consider subscribing to Brewer Off-Road, Pete Hager, Justin Sturgill Trucking, and Michael Sabo. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.